I wasted so much money on cybersecurity training when I first started and it's not like I even had money to waste. I was working minimum wage jobs and just trying to invest in my career. The training that I was paying for wasn't really engaging, it didn't teach me much and wasn't worth much in the job market. So in this video I'm going to be talking to you about the top five free training certificates. There's a ton more free training that I want to make videos about but this is just going to be about the certificates to teach you some of the foundational knowledge with some bonus tips at the end. So stay tuned to the end because you really don't want to miss the bonus tips. And just remember it's about how you market yourself, how you reflect the training and skills that you have within your CV and your cover letters and your professional profile like LinkedIn that determines whether you'll get a job or not. Having a certificate isn't a master key that will just get you a job straight away. You need to be able to market yourself in the right way. So coming in at number five, we have the Information Security course by Open University. So this is an introduction to cybersecurity, teaching you how to stay safe online and also teaching you the fundamentals of cybersecurity and how it relates to business practices. It's split into eight weeks of training that you can take at any time at your own pace. It has a bunch of free resources that you can download and a quiz at the end of each week to test your learning and you get a certificate at the end of it after passing which you can put on your CV and LinkedIn. Now what I love about this course going through the content earlier it actually builds on the previous week's content. So it's split into eight weeks. Each week builds on the previous week and you gain more knowledge as you progress. So I mean it starts off very entry level talking to you about the threat landscape discussing basic attacks, some examples of high security breaches, just to kind of paint a picture of the cybersecurity problem and why it's needed, and goes over taking stock of your assets, which is fundamental to security because you have to know what you have in order to secure it. Then it moves on to more complex topics as the week progresses. You'll cover everything from authentication, passwords, multi-factor authentication, all the different types of malware, like viruses, worms, trojans, phishing, botnets, and how to protect a computer and these types of malware and other security issues. You then move on to networking, which is fundamental to cybersecurity as it's how computers communicate in the first place. There is a section as well on network security where you learn about firewalls, configuring firewalls, VPNs, secure tunnels, intrusion detection systems, honeypots, and much more. You'll also learn about cryptography, encryption keys, asymmetric and public key cryptography, PGP and much more about actually putting cryptography in use and a few sections also cover off some of the governance and law around cybersecurity. and you'll also dive into like operating system failures and recovery and backups and a little bit on risk management. Great course by Open University as I said it's completely free so it's definitely one to start and complete and earn the certificate because you learn so much of the fundamentals of cybersecurity. Now coming in at number four, you have Risk Management by Open University the same people that's created the previous course just mentioned and this is an interesting one because it was a collaboration between the Open University and Rolls Royce, the fancy car manufacturers and this dives deep into risk management and the risk management here is explored through the context of an international company and how they apply these theories and best practices. So it's a very practical way of learning about risk management by looking at it through the lens of Rolls Royce and of course it starts off at a very entry level. You learn about living in a world of risk, what risk management is. You learn about some of the definitions, the context around risk management, which is very important to know. You'll also have sessions on risk identification, going through different approaches like the top down bottom up approach you learn about risk assessments risk treatment monitoring and reviewing risks communicating and reporting on risks within the business and risk specialisms now for those who don't know risk management is fundamental in cybersecurity and applies to almost every single role as everything you do in cybersecurity is mitigating a risk and typically is derived from a risk based decision and a lot of organizations don't have skilled professionals who understand risk management and know what to do in what order so having a good understanding of risk and risk management is fundamental to any cybersecurity professional and you have to know it so this is one of the ways you can learn about it and I wish this is something I found early in my career because it would have taught me so much valuable information that would have directly translated into faster promotions 
more money, better career opportunities because of a deep understanding of risk management, which is something that I can't stress about how important it is. It literally is like the foundation of cybersecurity. So yeah, definitely take this course to learn about risk management. And again, it's free. You get a certificate, post about it on LinkedIn, include it in your CV. It's great. I think there's only 24 hours of study within it and it's been rated 4.8 out of 5 stars. Now coming in at number 3, we have the C C by ISC squared. This is certified in cybersecurity and it's designed for entry level beginners. Now I've talked about this certificate before on my channel, but I've chose to include it in this list because it's still a great certificate. And honestly, it's a gift to beginners in the cybersecurity industry because it's a high quality course coming in completely free. Once you pass, you can choose to sign up and pay $50 to become a member or an associate of ISC Squared, which I highly advise you do if you can afford it. And this maintains your certified status and enables you to access so many member benefits. Now the domains cover like the security principles, business continuity, disaster recovery, incident response concepts, access control concepts, network security and security operations, which is great. It goes over a lot of the foundational knowledge you need. One of the things that that sets this certification apart is not only do you get a certificate once you've passed but becoming a member and the benefits you access is very valuable i mean you have more training skill builders opportunities cpe opportunities webinars a bunch of resources that you get access to once you're a member you also have volunteering opportunities where you can engage and grow within your local chapter and people around you within your cyber security community you get discounts from like paid training and a bunch of resources and publications and access to studies and so much more. One of the reasons I value CC so highly and recommend it for almost every beginner that speaks to me is because you essentially not only learn the foundational concepts of cybersecurity, but you actually become part of an association, a community, a place where you can access more training, a place where you can find mentors, a place where you can network with people who might want to hire you, and you get access to skills that will actually make Make you a better cybersecurity professional and level up. So yeah, definitely one of the best entry level certifications out there in my opinion. Now coming in at number two, we have the Google Cybersecurity course. Now this one is a lot more technical than the other ones that I've mentioned. However, probably one of the best and hardest ones out there. It dives into so many areas and it's a big course and it's quite comprehensive you probably need a good six months to complete this maybe if you're doing it a little bit more full time you can possibly do it in a few months just keep in mind there's over 170 hours of content so it's a big commitment and it goes over a lot of the foundations of cyber security to begin with it talks about risk management and then you dive into networking and network security and then you kind of start to learn the tools of the trade especially for offensive security SOC analyst roles and more technical roles so you learn about Linux, SQL, managing assets, threats and vulnerabilities. You learn about detection and response from a security operations center analyst point of view. You also learn about Python and automating cybersecurity tasks with Python. So there's a bit of coding involved. And it also teaches you how to find and apply for cybersecurity jobs, preparing for job interviews and other valuable information about marketing yourself within the cybersecurity industry. So yeah, this is a great certificate. It's very technical, very difficult. I think the certificate only came out this year, but over the course of the year, it's actually gotten a lot more respect and appreciation within the cybersecurity industry. And I'm starting to see this being recognized as a valuable certificate to have, especially for beginners and entry level people. Now, coming in at number one, in terms of free cybersecurity training, and this is a most important thing to understand, is YouTube, blogs, research. Now, this is a little bit different to everything else just mentioned. There are actually courses and programs and structured learning, but I really think one of the key things you need to understand about cybersecurity is so much is online completely free you have access to a ton of things if you go onto youtube and you type in cybersecurity courses or you look at simply learn or code academy or some of the content from the cyber mentor heath adams david bumble neil bridges with the cyber insecurity twitch live streaming content you look at network chuck prab naya and a bunch of other youtube content creators there is so much 
free content and courses that you just have to find and use. And I'm not talking about videos like this where you're just talking about cybersecurity holistically, providing information about the industry. I'm talking full courses. One of the first courses that I'd done that actually changed my life was one of the cyber mentor courses. I think it was called Practical Ethical Hacking. And it was like 11 hour course on a cyber mentor channel. I know that's been developed into a more formal course now, the PNPT. Back when I started learning, this is one thing I had access to that I found and I used it. And it taught me so much, everything from virtualization software, which was a VMware workstation player. I then learned to download Kali Linux, get the image booted and run Kali Linux operating system. I was then able to download other machines from Volnhub and be able to conduct a mini penetration test on there, which involved everything from using tools like Nikto, Nessus, Nmap, other things like Metasploit and Burp Suite and using all these security tools that you will use in day-to-day -day life as a penetration tester to be able to fully exploit and get a shell, learn about privilege escalation, buffer overflows, using Python and scripted and bash scripted and also just how to maintain and keep and secure your Kali Linux operating system. Now all of this was completely free and it's some of the most valuable information I've ever learned and then you combine that with information from the hacking news other cybersecurity blogs and websites that post there is so many another key one is bruce shiner on security his blogs and research just teach you so much about cybersecurity. And another thing is using like social media and Twitter. Like for example, with Twitter, you can configure lists to follow certain people. So that'll be a feed of what those specific people have posted. And then you can share these lists publicly. If you go to the lists and you just search for cyber or malware or security, you can find a bunch of great groups you can follow and these people regularly post content and information about the cybersecurity industry why it's so important to follow the industry is you need to understand what's going on keep your finger on the pulse of movement if a big vulnerability or a big cybersecurity hack or issue or a big breach has happened it's relevant and it's something to know about and to discuss and this is stuff you'll have to do day to day a lot of cybersecurity professionals the first thing they do in the morning before they even start their job and I can guarantee you this 100% is a check Twitter or they check something like an RSS feed like Feedly where it's a bespoke curated list of cybersecurity blogs that dumps everything into one place just so you see the headlines and why this is important is everything can change a big cybersecurity incident can change your whole day weeks or months of work sometimes so it's important to understand how to keep your finger on the pulse when it comes to twitter reddit linkedin rss feeds bunch of other things does it have to specifically be one platform I'd just say Twitter is probably the most popular that I've seen used by cybersecurity professionals, but there's a bunch of others that you can use like Reddit being quite good. So in terms of the best course or the best way of learning, it's having that skill to find the information that you need to do specific things and utilizing all the free content that is out there on YouTube and the internet in general. So that is what I would say is the best course. You can teach yourself so much from Google, from YouTube, from just researching, reading, practicing to some things and there's a bunch of free courses on there so definitely check that out now a few bonus tips and important points to make about this is that you don't have to pay for cybersecurity training not at least to start with even though the training is free and you get these fancy certificates and badges typically the certificates and badges in isolation aren't worth much in the cybersecurity industry it's the skills you learn from them that's actually where the value is so focus on mastering the skills as opposed to just passing the course to gain a new badge or certificate to post on LinkedIn. If you take time to internalize the content you are learning and talk about that, maybe start a blog, maybe post regularly about it, find ways to market it and include it within your own social profile and your self-branding, that's what's valuable. Don't assume that these certificates hold a lot of weight. Anyone can pass an exam, anyone can get a certificate, but it's the people that hold on to and retain the skills and refine them are the ones that end up getting the jobs and set themselves apart. And what I will say is eventually paid certifications become a need and become mandatory to a certain extent. So just keep in mind paid certifications come later when you actually get hired by 
by a company and you can get them to pay for your certifications instead of digging deep into your own pockets to try and fund them. You can become a master of cybersecurity. You can learn so many skills and honestly become a great practitioner in any domain, any realm of cybersecurity for free. So don't just rely on paid certifications, but some of them are great and they do have their place. And another thing I plan to make a video about some of the platforms where you have subscription-based learning so that's also an option so i'll talk about some of the best subscription-based learning cybersecurity platforms out there today so if you've enjoyed this video please like comment share and subscribe and if you want to understand how to actually get into cybersecurity and the other elements you need beyond just certificates and badges click this video to learn more about value marketing and other things that you'll need to get into cybersecurity over and out I'll see you in the next one.